I have here the FLIR DM284 and today I was going to go through a few of the features that the IGM mode or infrared guide measurement has. So in order to get to that we can just toggle to literally anywhere, anywhere, and uh, we're just going to go to AC right now. Here it is loading up and this blue button right here will go into the IGM mode and before we do that, got to make sure our shutter is open. Right now it is closed and I already had it open, but right now it's open. You have your thermal camera on the left side and your red laser on the right side. So we're going to hit this button right here. It's going to load up. And now it is ready to rock and roll. And I don't know if you can see that, but there is a red laser also. But as of right now, we are in the thermal mode. And at the top here, it is currently trying to calculate and it will calibrate itself in oh, about 30 seconds or so. Oh, actually it just calibrated. So, all right, so right now we are in thermal mode. And as you can see, I mean, it's, it's a thermal camera. So that's my back side of my hand. It is freezing in the sunroom right here, but my hand is still hot. So let's go through some of the features here. So if we hit the OK button, we can pop up a few things. So at the top here, you can see we have two measurements going on, and that's our AC as well as Hertz. So if we switch to um, DC, we can do the same thing. What's neat about this is you can actually take the, th you can do the thermal imaging as well as taking measurements at the same exact time. So if we hit the OK right here, um, I can do either the image or I can actually do the calculating likewise. So right now, let's just go to image and right now it is strictly the thermal camera. And we'll just go to the DMM mode. Um, we can go to thermal settings here and we have a choice between three different color palettes. Um, so there's the blue hot and the white hot. Um, we do have the ability to turn the laser on and off. Currently it is on and as soon as I hit this, it turns it off. So I usually turn it off. Um, we can have the little um, crosshairs, if you will, on or off. See that? Now it is off. And if we go to the advanced menu, we can do max, min, or average. We can do a p-code and a relative. And in the settings, we can keep our diode classic or smart. I'm unsure, honestly, of what that is indicative of. Um, here's the standby mode. So right now we're in 10 minutes. We can turn it to one minute, two minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, or keep it off. Um, here's our auto hold, yes or no. Turn it on or off. Here's our Fahrenheit or Celsius. And that is pretty much it. Up at the top here, we have a battery life. We have the laser and auto hold, Fahrenheit. We have our temperature range right here. And while, while we have this good battery life, I'm gonna also show you the flashlight. So there's the flashlight. It's a very, very wide angle flashlight and it looks blue and it is blue for the most part. Um, battery life, uh, I don't know, as you can see, it's, it's quickly dwindling. I mean, it's, it's already in the yellow, so we'll turn the flashlight off, but battery life is not good. Um, we're, think, we're talking about mm, about three hours when it comes to battery life when you're in the IGM mode and roughly 12 hours when it comes to normal calculations. 12 or 12 or 15 roughly I would say I would get about I would say about 12 13 hours is what I'll get now they do have a lithium battery that all you have to do is it's uh, 79 I want to say 7995 and it replaces the th uh, three tri four triple-a batteries in the back here and this whole back end comes off and they give you a brand new back piece and yeah so that's pretty much it
So in conclusion, the FLIR DM284 is definitely a very good multimeter. It has a lot of really good features, a lot of really nice features. It has the thermal imaging camera, it has the LED flashlight, um, it adds a lot of functionality also. Um, it has, it's very robust, it truly is. There's definitely some negatives to this. I would say definitely the biggest one would be the battery life. Battery life is quite awful, to be blunt. Um, and I know this is a very subjective review, but it is my opinion. So, in my opinion is, it is, the battery life is terrible. Um, the ability to save pictures would be phenomenal, but we can't, at least not right now. So, I really like the unit, I do. Um, I would definitely say I'm not going to be one to give up my my fluke here, uh, but it is it's m far more compact than the fluke. But this one I would say is dedicated more towards a different group of individuals, whereas the fluke 289 is definitely geared to a different type of individual. So take it as you will. The FLIR makes a very good product. Just look at your reviews, look at their specs, and see if it falls for you. Same way with the Fluke. Now, Fluke did come out with their own thermal uh, multimeter. I don't even want to throw out a random Fluke model number because I'm not really sure which one it is. But it's roughly the same price as the FLIR 284 also. Thank you for sitting in with me, and I will see you next time.